Hey guys, Colin here. Um, I have a bit of a cold, so I'll sound a little weird today. But today I will be showing you. One second. Uh, okay, so today I will be showing you how to um, how to connect your Wii, your Wii, or. <coughs> Your Wii or a Wii remote. So, <coughs> sorry. So I'll be showing you how to connect your Wii controller and or nunchuck or classic controller or this works also with Wii U controllers and Wii U Pro controllers. So what you want to Oh, and I'm also going to be showing you how to connect it to Steam. So connect it to your Mac and Steam. So I'm going to have a, a, a thing to pop up right there. Showing uh, the where you can click on to get to the website with Joy. Now, once you get to this website, you're going to... Because uh, I tried to search and I couldn't find it. I had to go on to a uh, thing I found on YouTube for it. Like a little... Uh, whatever. So, uh, press right here, latest version. So, click on that. And then click on... You, you're going to want to click on the most recent one right here, so that, so click on it, you know, wait for it to do whatever it's doing, like munch on stuff. <coughs> um. Okay, so, it's like a one second download, doesn't take long at all, um, so then, you can close this, whatever. Um, then you're going to want to uh, go to downloads and then click on this. So click on your Woodjoy DMG. Uh, has all this. Um, I recommend you read it. It's not a big one. Uh, so then you want to move it over to applications. I already did that, so I'm not going to. And then it will pop up right over here. So then get your Wii remote and and or other things with your Wii remote. Go to the sync button, which for me, my sync button is right there, that red button. Right there. So, um... So click on the joy and then click on it there and, and it says discovery just wait till it's a uh, wait till it says begin discovery Okay so uh now you want to press begin discovery and then hold on your sync button so begin discovery and then or you can just tap it once. I tap it once and then it finds it. So see, it finds it. So you can use this with emulators and works with the classic and stuff. So now, if you want to use it on Steam, so you click on Steam. Wait for it to load. And then, uh, you want to go over here and click on that, which is big picture mode. So you click on big picture mode. Mm -hmm. And then go over settings, controller, and then configuration. Wait, no. Controller, um, Add or test. Click on the controller and you and you click on all these buttons. So like 
primary action and it tells you like what it says here if your gamepad has a button in a location similar to the one shown here we, make it, we recommend it for the selected action uh, but your gamepad may look different from this one but I still have all the same stuff I have a d-pad and all that so you just mess around with this so it will say like so that will be A on an Xbox controller for instance so then you'd press on primary action and you'd press A or if you want a different control if you want a different button then you know it's like I pressed A on the Wii Classic controller so that's different because well the A isn't where the A would be on an Xbox controller go back that would be B so I did the B on here uh, all that so that's just how you set it up there's all this stuff and yeah, I think it's a really cool thing that they added so you can do this uh, yeah so I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video I wait no actually I'm gonna show you uh, gameplay show you that it works so uh, uh, so uh, one sec um, okay here we are again now in Goat Simulator, and I'm showing you an example of me using the controller. So, uh, play. Yeah, yeah. See, so it says there's a controller connected where you would sign in and stuff. Not sign in, but <clears throat> select the map I want. Let's do Goat City Bay. Let's say I want, uh, Goat Born, maybe. And then. I'll just play. So, um, now, um, you can also do this with, uh, oh. You can also do this with um. What's it called? You can do this with other games on Steam. If a game says that it's controller enabled, then you can play with controller. And there's one game I found works for me that I didn't need a controller with. So watch here. So I'm gonna lick this person. Yeah. Come with me. And then, you know, unlick. Okay, never mind. They don't want to go up there. And then slow motion. Okay, and then fall. And then run after them. And then boom! Not using my keyboard or anything, just, you know. Boom. I can bat. I can do. What does that do? Okay. Not sure what I just did there. Press start. Slow motion again. And boom. So I'm going to show you one more example. And this example that I'm going to show you next. It's not using. Oh gosh. The example I'm going to show you next is a. Uh, well, it's not using uh, a game that you, that you should be using a controller that you can play with a controller normally. Uh, you'll see what it is once I'm in. So, uh, yeah. Uh, welcome back today. Or now we are in a uh, Gary's mod. That's right, I got my controller working in Gary's Mod. It is awesome! It's really cool. Uh, I just go on a random map, I guess. Um, 
pistol. And then I'll I'll see you once I'm in. And I'm back. My game crashed, so I had to load in again. So right now, as you can see, I'm still using my controller. Eh. Uh so yeah. I'm using my Wii controller. There's one problem, and that problem is that I cannot look up. I can only look up if I use my mouse to. But I mean, it's still pretty fun. I usually use this because I'm usually playing like hide and seek and stuff like that with my friend. And I don't really need to look down much or up. Unless I'm hiding. But you know. So, um. Yeah, I can do this. Then you know, right now I'm using my mouse just to you know pick something. Like, let's say oh, I want my dark pocket Magnum, and I want my Jeep. So I just it's fun stuff. You know, use my weapons and oh. so it all works out fine. It's crazy out there. Uh, you know, if Bobby Gregory wants to die, you know, I have it set so I can switch between weapons. Usually crowbars kill like every NPC. Yep. Alright. So, uh, well, how do you do this? Wait, one more. Go in the Jeep. And, you know. Oh, I want to go faster, huh? Want to go faster? Yeah! Alright, so, uh, so, how you get all this stuff working is, uh, oh, and the flashlight. So, how you get all this working is what you want to do. So, you want to press escape, go over to options. Well, first, I pressed enable gamepad so I could do like this. And like sort of switch between stuff like that, you know. So what you want to do? I don't have everything all worked out because I'm only doing the important ones. So you just want to press something. So like show menu, like I have here. Just edit key, and then press whatever you want for the menu. I'm gonna press start because it makes sense. So then, uh, yeah, so no clip, you know, and then the things that aren't as important that I'm not going to have on. Move forward, move back, all that important, have that. So, uh, yeah, you can't, like, save something on your keyboard. Like, you can't, like, save certain controls. It only takes, like, two minutes to actually set these up, though. So, and once you have them set up, then it's a cool thing. Uh, I just set it up yesterday, but I've been using this all day yesterday to play most of my games, uh, even though some don't work. Uh, yeah, but it's cool, like, I just use my mouse to look down, but, you know. Whee! Still never my console and do stuff. Yeah. Respond. Unless it wants to. Ah, yeah. Gordon Freeman. So yeah. Uh, so I hope this video was helpful to you. Uh, I hope you have fun with your controller. And I will see.